Yeah, got um, four deep cycle, 102 amp hour, 12 volt batteries, uh, 35 mil square cable coming up to this battery isolator box. Uh, that's space here is for a another isolator, so I can put another bank of batteries in. Um, that's about 5.1 kilowatt hours there in storage. Now this is my power mister um, hybrid solar inverter charger uh, as you can see here we've got 239 on the grid 230 coming out of the inverter which I've, that's what I've set it at using 220 watts roughly battery voltage is 49.7 it's all programmable uh, your charge rate your cut off voltage your switch over uh, at the moment this system is uh, configured as a UPS uh, got the whole house set up on UPS it's seamless switching you, 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 there's no uh, even flicker of the lights when it changes from mains to solar to battery and like I said, it's currently running on battery. Uh, it's pretty quiet at that load rating. As the load increases, the fans make more noise. And um, yeah, uh, just installed this today. Very happy with it. 6,200 watts. Um, it's got dual AC outputs. It's got a priority output and a secondary output. Uh, the secondary one is the priority and the primary is your um, sacrificial uh, when it get when the battery voltage gets too low that'll cut out and it'll swing over it'll keep maintaining power to the secondary output very happy with this uh, inverter I think I might get another one not, not a bad price too, uh, $650 Australian I got it for, they're around $700, $650, if you can get them cheaper, uh, good luck to you, uh, as I said, 6,200 watts, I have got it limited to 3 kilowatts on the uh, batteries and full 6,200 watts on solar and it did perform very well under cloudy conditions so it's more than adequate to uh, run my energy efficient house and we've got a few old light fittings that chew a bit of power but most of it's LED lighting and LED security lighting and cameras and such um, large screen TV was uh, quite economical that only recorded about 90 watts on the inverter so um, yeah if you're looking something to go on off grid you can feed back into the grid with this one uh, or you can keep it all for yourself i've I'm, I'm not selling any back to the grid i'm keeping it all for myself at the moment i just want to run a few tests and see how it performs and see the inputs and the outputs um, but for what i'm what i'm seeing so far i am very happy 6200 watts or 6.2 kilowatts at uh that should be more than enough to run most houses. Runs our water pumps, uh, runs a fridge. Um, yeah, I am not running the air conditioner on it yet. Uh, we'll just see how it runs first. It's more than powerful enough to handle our air conditioning load and everything else. So um, stay tuned and we'll do another video in the future. Cheers.